and then stresses me out. I just don't want to do hunting anymore. I really just want stuff done around the house. Let's go sit in the woods for eight hours when we could be really doing more productive things. You sit outside and just look at the fucking trees. Is there anything else that you do that you do and then you come home six seven hours later and you're exhausted for doing what just sitting inside of a tree stand doing nothing you don't come home with anything so what what do you do out there so what what do you do out there <laughs> you're recording me now Stop recording me. <laughs> I see stuff out there. What do you see out there? I see a lot of stuff. You see squirrels. <laughs> deer that you don't shoot. called management. No. Management would be shooting the deer. You just can't shoot every deer that walks by you. I'm not saying shoot every deer that walks by you. Because that's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, that is the purpose while I'm out there, but... But you got out there like every weekend for like two months or however long hunting season is. And you come home with one deer. Put a lot of effort into that one deer. How much effort could possibly be done by sitting in a tree stand and just doing nothing? You just you sit there and you Facebook. That's all you do. I do stuff. There's what do you a lot do? Of things. What do you do out there? Things. First of all, you have to climb into the tree stand safely. Second of all, you have for... to be you have to be still and quiet. And like a tree ninja. And just wait for the opportune moment for a deer to walk by.
It's not easy. The temperatures are freezing out there. But you choose to go sit out there in that. I do because I want to provide for my family my good good meat. And we appreciate you going out there and getting the deer. But then even like on days like we could be doing other stuff. You go out there knowing you're not gonna freaking see anything. You're knowing you're not gonna shoot a deer that day. Know that I'm not gonna shoot a deer okay, that day. Okay, so if the weather is really bad, like it was the other day, so it was really, really windy out. And it was freezing. The deer are not gonna be walking around. Just like, hey. They're not doing you know they're not. How do you know? Did you ask them? You told me. If it's too windy and cold, the deer aren't moving. But you still choose to go sit out there. Because there's still that one rogue deer. That one rogue deer that might be actually out and about is probably not like very smart and not worth shooting because it's little because it's not smart enough to eat <laughs> no it's not worth that they do look a lot bigger in the scope sure they do. There's just absolutely no reason for you to be out there every Saturday morning and every Sunday morning when you still have a garage to clean out. And a deer that we still haven't caught up yet. It's incubating. <laughs> it's been incubating for two weeks. That's how you know it's good. I just can't wait till hunting season's over.